Okay, so uh, my four lectures will be uh, on the Brower group and the of sheet. Essentially, not supposed to know anything about Brower groups. I'll try to explain them everything. Today, I will really just talk about the, the Brower group, the various ways of thinking about the Brower group, and then I'll pass on to sheets and more things based on sheets. So, today, it's really just about the Brower group. And um, Brow groups are, of course, a uh, uh, very ancient topic coming from algebra a number of years ago. And I'll, I'll focus on uh, geometry. Uh, so for me, uh, so, you, you, so I usually, not always, but uh, X will be smooth projective. Um, when I write the closed field, um, and uh, you can even think of uh, of a case three surface or hypercalar if you want to make it sticky at the end of the end of the program. Um, but so for the first uh, part, uh, I'll be I'll be just more more general. Um, okay. Uh, so first uh, part is uh, I recall a few things about um, dig H one, H two, and uh, things like this. Okay. Uh, so you know that. Uh, the Picard group of X can always be described as H1 um, X OSR. Um, and uh, now, first, the first thing you have to say is what's the cohomology with respect to which topology? And typically, you would take the Tarinsky topology here. But it turns out that this is the same as taking the eta topology, uh, the first cohomology of the same sheaf. But once you write eta, people tend to write, uh, uh, tend to write uh, GM. Uh, that's the same. That's the same thing. And if X is uh, if X is complete, then you can also uh, I'm sorry, make it complete, complex. Uh, then and actually complete and complex. Yeah. Uh, then this is the same as the analytic homology of all X and um, stuff. Okay. So uh, this is this is uh, for the group uh, G N. So G L one. Uh, and uh, you can ask, what about other groups? So you can say uh, GLN, SLN, GLN, uh, or finite, uh, finite cyclic, uh, cyclic groups. And uh, then Sal, long time ago, introduced this notion of a, of a, of a, of a special group. G is special if uh, the risky cohomology with values in this group is the same as uh, eta cohomology uh, with values in, 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 this, in this group. Um, and uh, generalizing this isomorphism here, this characterizes uh, the risky uh, locally trivial G bundles. And this parameterizes uh, eta, uh, eta um, locally trivial uh, uh, G bundles. All this. And you store this. Okay. Um, and now the fact that was established by. Uh, by itself. Already. First of all, he observed that uh, if, if you have a special group, then this group has to be linear. Um, for some n. And, and then the question is, of course, which of the linear, linear algebra groups are actually, uh, are actually special? Um, and the fact is that, and these facts are not easy. Also, this fact is not totally trivial. Uh, behind this, there is a uh, Hilbert uh, 90 theorem. Uh, so SLN, GLN, uh, also SPN, they're all special. Um, but uh, groups like PGLN and simply uh, groups are not. So let's uh, let me spell this out. What it means for uh, for GL and SLN. Also, I'll try to do some notation. So uh, H one X GLN 
um, Sariski. Uh, so this is, by definition, Sariski GLN torsos. So I don't want to spell it, uh, write Sariski locally trivial all the time, so I just write Sariski GLN torsos, that means locally from the Sariski topology they are, they are trivial. And, uh, and this is, you can identify with uh, vector bundles of, uh, of rank n. Um, and this, we give this a name, we call this db of uh, xn. Um, and vector bundle here means uh, Sariski locally trivial. And on the other side, we have uh, um, uh, eta uh, GLN torsos, eta of GLN torsos. And, uh, and so you might think of them uh, by the same scheme as uh, eta locally trivial vector bundles of rank n on x. And they're just the same thing, so I won't write this down. Uh, so they're just the, the same thing. So you can do the same thing for uh, SLN. Again, I told you, uh, call it the uh, first commodity of, this, uh, of the two, uh, with respect to the two topologies, is this the same as L. Uh, and now what do I have here on the, on the left hand side? I can again say it's like, by the same, uh, same technique uh, as both peak, you say H1 with values in SLN, it's a risky local attribute, SLN torsos. And what this means in terms of vector bundles, this is uh, consists of rank n vector bundle plus a trivialization of its determinant with a trivial uh, vector bundle. And we call this set here uh, maybe SDB, so the S for special. Uh, and then on x transition. So this is what what this uh, what this parameterizes. And on the on the other side, uh, uh, at first it parameterizes eta uh, SLN torsos, but according to Sarah, these things are, are the same thing. So I introduced this set, and I introduced uh, this set. And obviously we have a map between the two. Every such uh, uh, SLN torsos. Particular GLN torso because I just have this bundle here. So I get a map um, between the two. Xn. Uh, obviously, this map is, uh, is typically not, not subjective because you might have a vector bundle with non trivial determinant. And it might also not be injective uh, uh, because there might be two, two derivations that do not come from. Uh, from uh, isomorphism of E. Of course, in all of this, I didn't write, but what I always meant was, of course, up to isomorphism. Uh, and here, an isomorphism is an isomorphism of E that gives the same eta on the on the <coughs> So this is uh, this is the map, uh, and we re reinterpret this in terms of cohomology. Okay. So now let's do maybe the same thing for BGL. And this is the main uh, So this is for all the future speakers. This is the German way to. Okay, so uh, just to, to get used to this, let's do the same thing for PGL. Uh, 
Um, so what are those? Um, these are Tarisky local trivia PGL and totals. And, uh, and uh, I can identify them uh, with uh, uh, so-called browser-severity writings. Uh, so these are browser-severity. Oh, sorry, no, sorry. Let's say locally trivial, locally, locally uh, isomorphic to dn minus one times u. And here, what I'm using here is that the automorphism of Pn minus 1 is, of course, nothing but PGLN. Okay. And here, this is a risky locally, uh, looks like a projective, a projective uh, um, bundle. Uh, and in fact, we know this is the same thing as uh, projectivizations of, uh, of vector bundles. Okay, so on the other hand, and now, so I told you already. Uh, this is in general not isomorphism, not an isomorphism here. Yeah, what we have here is A tau uh, PGL in totals. And, uh, and now these are browser variables, right? These browser variables, right? This. Um, so these are uh, the schemes P over X, the fibers are all PN minus ones, and A tau locally. Uh, they look like uh, Pn minus one times u. Uh, but um, and this this uh, here, so this I use the notation B S X N. So these are browser severe varieties um, over over X uh, with fiber Pn minus minus one. And here for the first time it makes a difference whether I'm looking at Tarisky topology or uh, A term topology. Um, okay. Uh, we'll describe the image in, in a second. Any questions so far? Okay. Um, so now, uh, the next thing I want to do is I want to compare all these groups, H1s and so on, and, uh, by, by a big diagram. And so the diagram I want to use is induced by uh, the following diagram of excited uh, short excited frequencies um, as follows. So I have uh, uh, By definition, PGLN is uh, is the quotient of GLN by uh, by GM. Uh, it is also it is also the quotient of SLN <laughs> by uh, n root of unity. So here you put a scalar on the diagonal, and here you put an n root of unity on the diagonal, and that gives you still an SLN matrix. Uh, then you have uh, mu is of course contained in, in GM as SLN. GN, and here a mu n is, is the quotient, is the kernel of uh, taking nth power. And uh, SLN is the kernel of the determinant net. And everything is commutative, and all the, the rows and, and, and columns are short set sequences. So that's the commutative diagram. Okay. So now what I what I will do in the next board, I write down uh, the induced commodity sequences uh, of the of the whole diagram, and then see what we can say about the various uh, various uh, maps.
Okay, uh, let's see. Um, I get uh, H1 of So I'm not writing X, I'm always on one fixed uh, fixed variety of B. Uh, H1 here N, and that is H1 SLN. Now I have the same thing here, so this continues ah, in H2, uh, and what I get here is uh, is this uh, this this part, so there's an H uh, H1 EM H1. So now uh, uh, I told you that everything here you see. Um, is, uh, is it doesn't matter whether I put Tsarisky or eta topology. So here I have Tsarisky equals eta. Okay. As soon as you go over here, uh, Tsarisky is not eta, and uh, we'll see that uh, some of these groups of no interest uh, in the Tsarisky topology. So it will be always eta topology. Uh, when I write H of PDM, it will always be eta, uh, eta topology. Sorry for Ah, uh, yes, well, it, so the characteristic has to be prime to n in order to have the exact sequence, the common sequence. So, yes, thank you. So, n. Uh, one. Uh, for, for the common, so this sequence here is exactly what's called the common sequence. So now we know a few of these groups. Uh, for instance, here we have a Picard group uh, um, of X. What this map is, here is nothing. So this is, these are vector bundles uh, on X of rank N. And the map here is the determinant uh, of, uh, of N. Um, right? Uh, here I have, so again I have P of X. Uh, and this map here sends the line bundle L to uh, its end uh, power. You're saying also this H1 of mu n. So mu n is not a special group. Right? You say Zariski group with that. Um, that's true. Uh, that's true, except for this one. Uh, uh, actually, no, for H1 of mu n is still okay. Uh, for instance, you can use this sequence. So the H1 of GM is the same as the risky, and then you find that this one. How does that work? Okay, so this one here was uh, uh, a set of a special vector bundles, so determined, purely determinant. Um, and uh, what is this map in terms of vector bundles? So here, pick, here are vector bundles. So this thing here maps a line bundle to uh, the vector bundle, which uh, the direct sum of n copies of this. Bundle. And finally, going from, from E here, uh, so vector bundle, whether it has trivial determinant or not, uh, to H1 of PDLN, interpreted uh, in terms of Brouwer Severi. Uh, Brouwer Severi, so this is uh, Brouwer Severi uh, N. Uh, this is taking the projective bundle, taking the projective uh, bundle. Um, okay. So now let's say a few things about the various uh, various maps. Uh, uh, yeah. So let's first say something about this map. One. Uh, this map is injective. So it's easy. Injective if X is if X is complete. Oops. 
proper and phase algebraically closed. Just extend this lower set sequence that comes from H0 of GM, then there's the nth power map. If everything with this X is complete, H0 of GM is just uh, pay star, and you need the nth power map to be injective, algebraically closed is enough. Uh, that's injective. Then I want to say something about the corresponding map two here. Um, so two is not injective, in general, of course, it's not injective, but not necessarily injective. Uh, but I can say if I extend this here, H2 dm, this is again taking uh, well, n power multiplication with n, depends how you write your group. Then you see that the image of this map is just the nth portion of H2 dm. So the image is H2 x dm nth portion. You know, these are exact sequences, but not all of these are groups, right? So each one. Okay, that's, that, yeah, I, I'll come to this in a second. Uh, so far, I was talking about uh, sequences of, of, of groups. Um, now, let me say something about first of all, three. Uh, three. Three is always injective. Uh, and finally, remark this one is also. This one is surjective. Um, that's maybe from the first look at it, it's not so obvious. You give yourself any line bundle and you ask whether there is a, a vector bundle of rank n whose determinant is this line bundle. Uh, but what it takes is just L plus O, 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 o. the determinant of that one is, is just L. Okay. So that one is surjective. And now comes the warning uh, thingy. Uh, thingy to put here. Um, here, I mean, also before, I wrote H1 of groups, non abelian groups for n bigger than 1. So these things are not groups. So here I'm using non abelian commodity, which also uh, has the effect that I cannot extend this short exact sequence, this long exact sequence, uh, because a, a commodity of non abelian groups is only defined for H1. Okay? Uh, so if these are not groups, what does it mean to have a long exact sequence? It's a long exact sequence of pointed sets. So that means if I take, uh, so there's a, this is a pointed set, you take the trivial PGLN torso, so PN minus 1 times X, and you look at its fiber, and the fiber is exactly the image of this pointed set. Okay. So warning, uh, for N bigger than 1, PGLN, SLN are not commutative. Not commutative, so it's a long, these are long exact sequences. Pointed sets. Okay. Um, so, for instance, it's, it's not uh, a priori. It's not so. It's not so useful. Here, what what it would mean? So, I say I told you this is a pointed set. So, I take a trivial, the trivial uh, browser theory, uh, and I look at its fiber, and it's all coming from from here. But what about taking any uh, any uh, any element in here, so any non-trivial browser variety, and asking what is the, the set of all browser varieties that give the same class in here. Okay. Um, good. Any questions uh, concerning this uh, this diagram? I'll make a couple of remarks more. Uh, maybe I'll do them and then you can ask questions. Yeah. Could you just explain what you said about pointed sets? Uh, so these are pointed sets. And what is an exact sequence of pointed sets? It's always saying that the, 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 the fiber over the over the over the, the distinguished point is the image of the map of the map that comes before. Okay. You can say a, a bit more because uh, the nice thing is this: these are really abelian groups, so these are groups. So these thing uh, is now this thing obviously acts on this one, and this one acts on this one. H one. Uh, Vm acts on H on the vector bundle. So this is the set of vector bundles, uh, vector bundles of rank n by tensor product. Uh, Le goes to L tensor E. Uh, and the same for H1 mu n, it acts on the set of special vector bundles 
uh, by again by the tender for that. So uh, in this in this situation, you can say a bit more. Then you can say if uh, if uh, if uh, yeah if I take if I take a class in here that has it as Yes, so if I take a vector bundle here uh, and, uh, and look at all the vector bundles that give the same class in here, so I'm not looking at the fiber, the pre image of the distinguished point, but just take any point here in the image of this map. And then what, what does the fiber look like? It is the, um, it is the set of all bundles that only differ by, by a tangible product. Let me write this. So that was remark one. Remark two is explaining the fiber. Uh, just recall, I mean, this is standard factor one all. Uh, P of E is isomorphic to P of E1 is isomorphic to P of E2. So these are both vector bubbles. Uh, if and only if E1 is isomorphic to E2, sends it out for some line one. Um, and this is explaining the fiber over P of E here. They all, they all are, uh, 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 the, this group acts transitively on this, uh, on this, on the fiber. Uh, by the way, I didn't say this, but you can also see that this map is injective because if L is not trivial, then this direct sum cannot be trivial. Okay. Um, next remark, if I would look at this uh, uh, in the Tarisky topology, so also the right part, uh, if I look at Tarisky, EGLN, uh, GLN, sorry, GLN, uh, H1, uh, Tarisky, PGLN, this is uh, always subjective. This is always subjective. I mean, it's smoothness of X, right? If X is smooth, otherwise. Uh, I need smoothness, yeah, it actually comes up in the. Uh, yes. X smooth. Uh, so there's a, there's a, there's a. It's interesting. Uh, yeah, um, uh, so there's a cohomological argument. Uh, Using this, this sequence, uh, then this one is, is zero, but that doesn't really tell you why why this is why this is true. Uh, but the geometric argument goes as follows: um, we take we take um, a p n minus one bundle over a x. Now we're in the Tarisky topology, so that means there exists uh, an open Tarisky open subset U, actually x is covered by those. On which, on which the u uh, restricts to a trivial bundle u times p n minus one. Okay, that, that that's what it means to be an element in, in here. Now in here you just take a linear uh, hyperplane in p n minus one. You look at this one. All this d, uh, and then so that's that's a divisor in here. If you just take its closure. Uh, 
And that's a line bundle that gives you a line bundle on P. And now all the fibers in U, this bundle is nothing but O1. Uh, and then this, of course, remains true for all the fibers. So fiber-wise, fiber-wise, this is O1. And then you just take the direct image uh, under P, uh, and you get you get a vector bundle uh, of this OD. You get a bundle on Xn, and up to dual, this is uh, this is the bundle. Uh, and this, the smoothness, this will be EU, and the smoothness that the Phoenix uh, uh, this engine uh, insisted is, is used here. When you close the visor, you have to make sure it's a Cartier divisor, not just a Green one. Yeah? I'm actually a bit, so, a bit confused here because I thought that's actually the engine that should for all. No, no, for singular surfaces, it would be an EU. Yes, okay. So here, geometrically, you see this actually. Okay, uh, remark four, how can we understand? So using this technique, what's the image of all those bundles, uh, those vector bundles um, on X in H1 TGLN? So these are probably very right this year. Uh, so what's the image? Well, the image is the set of browser variety varieties um, with a rational section. Right, whenever you have a browser here, right, with a rational section, then you do the same thing. You close it up, and you get you get a divisor. Uh, you get a divisor uh, um, that is fiberwise O1, and then you get a vector bundle. And coming from here, we just see how to use this thing. So, uh, uh, browser here, right, is that come from vector bundles are exactly those that have a rational have a rational section. Okay. Uh, uh, what do you mean by rational? So there is a there's a Tarisky open subset. It's a rational it's a rational map uh -huh. from X to there, and that's a rational map. So it has to be defined on a rational on a Tarisky open Tarisky open subset. Um, okay. So the next remark that's important and that it follows from this from this diagram. Uh, you see every browser here, right? So this is here. You know this is these two are browser very right? This, Every browser here, right? So the image under delta is, of course, comes from here. So in particular, the image of delta is n torsion uh, because the image of, uh, of this group here, as I mentioned before, is the is the n torsion group of, uh, of um, uh, of H two GM. So uh, remark five. Uh, Yes, uh, so the image of delta, delta upstairs, is contained in the nth portion part of H2 uh, GM. And there's a natural question whether, um, whether this is actually equality, is this everything here? And it turns out that the answer is yes, and that's a that's a big theorem uh, for surfaces. Big theorem by De Jong. Uh, but it should not it should not, should not be an equality uh, in high dimensions. So it's not a known minimum. Sorry, Daniel. Uh, this this fact that um, the O of P bar is fiberwise in O one does that actually mean that whenever I have a rational section and take the closure, that it becomes an actual section? No, it can blow up certain fibers, but if you look at the line bundle, it's, it's, uh, it's still O one of all the fibers. Ah, yeah, before I erase this completely, <laughs> just in time. 
So here there was the browser <laughs> there, right? The, the group of all the, you know, the set of all browser there, right? And here was H to GM, there was this map, the, the boundary map delta. And this thing is a group. GM is a commutative group, or this is a group, that's a commodity of commutative group, that's a group. And so there's something, we feel there's something missing. We would like this, the, the set of browser here, right, to also to be a group. Uh, and there are two indications where there should be uh, something like a group around. That's in, in Mark 5, if X is smooth, then it's true, right? So in Mark 5, um, it's about realization of the class, the token class. Uh, and the image is contained in, in token? It's just equality. So you said no in general. But oh, yeah, uh, that's. If it's smooth, then it should be okay, no? Um, You want me to write X a smooth surface? Yes, but no, in higher dimension case for the smooth varieties, they are not equal. No, no, no. Um, okay, so uh, if something is missing here. Um, first of all, so if I look at now it's a very Is contained in uh, in the k times n portion. Right? Everything that's filled by n is also filled by n times k. And uh, whenever you have a GLN matrix, you can put it uh, on the diagonal. You can put k of those uh, on the diagonal. Uh, I'm sorry, no, not on the diagonal, on the tensor product. And you get the GLN times k. And so here there's a boundary for n k, n times k, and here's the boundary for n. And, uh, uh, and this diagram you, you, you check is actually computable. Um, okay, so it looks like it looks like we should have, if we, if we don't stick to one n, then uh, there should be something that's compatible with the, uh, with the group structure of H to GM. And the problem is really how to multiply two browser variables. That's not that's not so obvious. And in order to approach this, it's more helpful to uh, to talk about Atsumaya algebras. And that's uh, a part two. Atsumaya algebras. And this we will use in in the end to get a, a group structure. I will tell you. Okay. So what is an Atsumaya algebra? Again, it's a Core theory uh, in algebra about Atsumai algebra. So here we are looking at Atsumai algebra uh, on, on X. So um, Natsumai algebra is um, class uh, on X. It's a, it's a, a locally free OX algebra A such that eta locally A is isomorphic to in the morphism of some locally free sheet E. And of course, yeah, of course you can somehow uh, go, uh, go to, to a refinement of your, of your cover. You can actually also assume uh, it's um, locally, uh, the endomorphism of the trivial class that we want to represent. Okay. So the standard example is, the standard example is you start with a locally free sheet and look at endomorphism algebra of, of E. So OX, uh, this is an OX algebra, OX acts by, uh, by uh, scalar multiplication, and that's a, so that's a standard example. But these are the local models of my, of my, of my algebra. Uh, then there's an exercise. Um, And if A is not some higher algebra, 
then it's determined really as the locally free sheaf on X is actually the trivial time bundle. Okay. And now there is uh, uh, the school and uh, Nerda theorem. So this is something that uh, that was first uh, discovered by Skola, the Norwegian mathematician, and then rediscovered by Nöte, so there's not another paper written to. Uh, and that says the automorphism, so you see locally, let's do this over one point. Here, what you have is uh, the matrix, the matrix algebra, and the automorphism of the matrix algebra are, again, just uh, PGL, uh, PGLN. And the way this is done, if you have a PG, if you have a, a element in, in PGLN, you uh, let it act on the group of matrices by mapping M to G times M times G minus one. And you see scalars, uh, scalars uh, act trivially here. And that's why it's not mapped from GLN. Well, it's mapped from GLN, but it has a kernel. So it's an isomorphism between PGLN and the automorphism algebra of, of M. And then we do the same thing as before. Uh, if that's the case, then we can interpret um, Eta homology of uh, PGLN as uh, the set of Atomai algebras algebra on S, and now the rank uh, of A is N squared. And uh, I'll call this set uh, uh, AZ. So that's the set of uh, of Atomaya algebras. And uh, can I put this here? Um, um, we so we have uh, three we have uh, uh, three interpretations. Uh, Well, so before this, this was the, 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 the set of browser severe varieties, and, and here are the, uh, the, uh, are the atom, atom I algebras. And the first thing I want to do is uh, uh, understand if I do this, go from vector bundle, so that's H1 of GL, I can go to browser severe varieties, or I can go to atom I algebras, and, and the maps here where I take the bundle E and I map it. Uh, to its projectivization, and the map here um, maps E to the endomorphisms uh, uh, of, uh, of uh, E. And, um, and now I'd like to complete this by, by uh, both group, both sets here are H1 of PGLN, so we know there's a bijection between the two, but I'd like to see this directly geometrically. So uh, what do I have to do to go from a, to, a, to my algebra uh, here to draw a severity variety and, and conversely, and this is uh, this is the classical Okay, um, so if, if this is a browser severity variety, P of X, then um, I claim there exists the natural extension um, of this form, and I call this thing in the middle TP. Uh, so TP is the relative tangent. Uh, 
a bundle of them. And that's a, that's a natural, natural extension. And you should think of the order sequence, the relative order sequence, on a projectivized uh, vector bundle. Uh, and uh, and how do I get this extension? Well, you see, it's such an extension, an element x1 pto, so which I can interpret as h1 omega p. And then, because I know what the fibers are, I can compute all the direct images. And the, only the first high direct image survives. And, um, and uh, there's, a natural, there's a natural map uh, from H1 O here. Um, and you take the one, oh, that's actually right more than, and you take the one from here. Well, there is an extension uh, like, uh, like this. And, and that, that's important. And then uh, you associate to this um, endomorphisms. Uh, so this is an endomorphism bundle. So that's like an Atsumai algebra on the on the brown severe variety. But that's not what we want. We want an Atsumai algebra on on the variety X. And that's this uh, this uh, this AP. So in the example, let's see what we find. If P is the projectivization of a vector bundle, then uh, the Tp tilde is a uh, hyperstar of E tensor OB1. And then, and then uh, the endomorphisms of it are just the, the pullback of the endomorphisms of P. And then I have in the endomorphisms, I have this O1, but the, uh, the uh, O minus one coming from the dual, so that's just it. And then if I if I push it down, um, then I get of uh, of E, and this was the one uh, that we associated to a local degree local degree point. And uh, the other direction is a little bit more algebraic to describe. Uh, conversely, uh, if this is not to my algebra, you can associate a browser severe variety uh, uh, of X, uh, and roughly the fibers. Are uh, uh, left ideals uh, in, uh, in 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 the fibers of, uh, of the Atomai algebra of dimension O. And then you have to make sure that these, these two constructions are inverse to each other. So it all works uh, this. Can I ask this TP tilde? Is it Collar's interpretation, or other people who are doing this before? Uh, well, I read this, this for the first time in. Uh, in the, in the paper by Yoshi, Yoshioka. But I think this someone was wrong. So I, don't, yeah. I don't know if anyone claims to probably know where this is also from. Okay. Um, Sorry, what did you write that? This is the fiber of this bundle. Mm -hmm. And this is also an algebra over the sphere. And I look at this the, the set of left ideals. Uh, so the fibers are a set of left ideals uh, in this in this. Of this particular. So, this already des described, uh, if you look at this in the textbook by Gert and Veton, they give you this picture. Sorry, can, can you say again what this, uh, what's the, what's the uh, right vertical um, isomorphism? Uh, this is uh, taking, taking, so there is, uh, I mean, fiber wise, this H1 of omega, mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a rank one, that's a rank one. It's a non-trivial line. It's a non. It's a trivial line bundle. You can take C one of the relative O something from O n. Okay. Uh, did we assume now that P over X is is uh, so really locally trivial? No, 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 no. But there is still. I will see this later. Again, there is still some power of O one always exists, mm -hmm. uh, and then you take C one. That gives you a trivializing section. Um, okay. Um, uh, now, uh, I make an important observation. If I have A, I can look at um, the opposite algebra. So that's the A, is usually it's, it's a non commutative algebra. Uh, and I can look at, at the at A with the in, so the, with the, the operation is given by changing the role of, of A. So as a sheaf, uh, as a sheaf, it's just A. A sheaf. Uh, but uh, IA times uh, B is now defined as, well, in the opposite algebra as B times A. 
Um, so locally, so if, if, if A in our model, if A is the endomorphism algebra of E, then the opposite algebra would be the endomorphism algebra of the dual bundle. But of course, you know, the endomorphism of E is just E tensor E dual, and E, the endomorphism of E dual is E dual tensor E double dual, and e, identifying E double dual with E, we get the same, but the operation is, uh, is, um, is different. And now comes the, the, the observation, uh, A tensor over X with the opposite algebra is uh, endomorphisms of A as, uh, as algebras. Again, in the local model, you see this looks like endomorphism of E, this looks like endomorphism of E U. So uh, this then looks like endomorphisms of E tensor E dual, but this is nothing but A. Uh, so this really fits. Okay. So now, uh, uh, So the, I started uh, introducing Atsumaya by, by saying I want to have some multiplicative structure. So this is the first glimpse, but before actually is the observation that I can always take the tensor product of algebras and again get an algebra. Um, it's a multiplicative structure. Uh, on the set of all Atsumai algebras on X, so this is just the disjunction of all those of them on Gwen, uh, by taking A1, uh, A2, and taking the tensor product. So that's again an Atsumai algebra. Yeah. It's like a tensor product of three, two matrix algebras. This is again the matrix, uh, matrix algebra. Uh, but it's not a group because there, we don't have an inverse. The tensor product can never have an inverse because the rank, I mean, the, cannot kill the rank. Okay. So OX operates like a, a unit element. Uh, that's fine, but I don't have an inverse. So now we take this observation here. Uh, um, use star star to define the inverse. So when you see, if I want some of the opposite algebra to be the inverse of Natsumaya algebra, I have to declare this to be a trivial element in the group. And so uh, I divide out by this. So I can divide, uh, define the ground group as a set of all Natsumaya algebras on X. Modulo the Nicolonis relation, and either you say, uh, uh, well, you say this is generated by uh, take A is equivalent to A tensor endomorphisms, uh, endomorphisms of any, any locally free sheaf. That's not a Nicolonis relation, but it generates one, or you let's say A1 and A2 are equivalent if and only if they exist bundles E1, E2. Such that A1 tends uh, E and most of E1 uh, isomorphic to E2. As algebra, of course, tends uh, E2. So this is the this is the Brauer group uh, of X, and there is a there is a there's a variant about it, which I'll talk in the later talks, namely uh, the special Brauer group of X. Uh, uh, and uh, so this is the analog. You see, uh, you should think of this as a, as a degree two analog of vector bundles, and this is a degree two analog of uh, special vector bundles. Uh, and uh, I divide out by a, a stronger equivalence relation, uh, namely the one that I say, hey, so this one is generated, generated by a uh, 
uh, equivalent to a tensor to homomorphism of E if the determinant of E is trivial. Uh, so this was introduced by, by Grudenick in a remark in, in Grudenick has these three papers, power one to power uh, three, and at the very end of power two, he introduced this thing, uh, and uh, which has not been used very much, and I'll, I'll later explain that this has something very useful. And obviously we have a subjection here from, uh, from the special Brouwer group to, to the Brouwer group. Okay, so I don't think there's any point in starting the derby part now. Uh, or maybe, yes? Okay, by, by, so there are fewer things that are equivalent to A because I have this extra condition. Um, ah, yes. Um, uh, so and now uh, there's there are two co-cycle computations you can you can you can do so two co-cycle computation. Let me just tell you the fact. The first one is it tells you that uh, so if if I have a not some i algebra, uh, that's an i n. So this is h one of p g l n, and I have a boundary map delta n that goes to h two of x. Yeah. Uh, but this also my algebra is equivalent to a tensor n e for any any locally free bundle e. But now this is an element in Hatsumaya algebra x n times the rank of e. Uh, so which is h one of pgl n n times the rank of e. And there's the boundary map that still goes that still goes here. So that's e. N times the rank, and uh, uh, and, uh, uh, and this diagram commutes. So then delta n. Ah, oh, sorry, uh, yeah, delta n of uh, a is the same as delta n times the rank of a. Okay. Uh, so the implication of this one is that uh, we have a boundary map from the Brouwer group. To H2 of X uh, dm. And the second fact is that this map is actually group homomorphism. There is a group homomorphism. And what is easy to prove is <coughs> it's easy to see that uh, this map is injective. Delta is injective. Is injective, and what is much harder, as an interesting story, uh, is, uh, is to prove its subjectivity, and that it's mainly, I mean, there are many special cases, uh, but in the end, so it seems Gabor probably had a proof, and then Leon came up with another proof, and, and so on, but in the end, uh, delta induces an isomorphism. So it's not quite subjective, but in most cases it is, but it's subject onto the torsion part, the torsion part of, uh, of, uh, of DM. And in fact, this is everything uh, if X is smooth. If X is uh, locally composed, huh? if X is smooth. Ah. And, uh, and so this is, all the diagrams, these big diagrams, so H1 PGLN, H1 SLN, and so on. They all, once you allow the N to run, you can form this big Brown group, and then you get an isomorphism of this Brown group defined really in terms of Hatsumaya algebras, uh, because to, you know, in order to get a much bigger structure, this is a group, as a group, isomorphic to the torsion part, or just H2 of GM uh, of, uh, of X, which we actually. Okay, I think it's. Thank you.